All right, welcome to 2026. So here's a section of our internal strategy presentation to talk to you about where we're going. Okay, Every is the only subscription that you need to stay at the edge of AI. That's what we're building. We have three main components of the business. We do ideas, so that's a daily newsletter about AI. We've got apps, so we have four different AI apps that help you write with AI, help you email with AI, help you organize your files with AI, do, does speech to text with AI. And then we have training, so we do camps and courses where we teach you about how to use these tools like Cloud Code or Codex in a really hands-on way. We do that all under one subscription. And we build things in this loop where at the start of the loop, we live in the future. So we're all of us, it's this really cool creative playground where all of us are using all these tools every day. It's AI first in every way. Writing code into a code editor, you're weird. So we're living in the future. We write what we see. Writing, I think, is the soul of every. And by articulating the future that you're living in, you bring that future into being because you can now talk about it with the people that you work with. And so we write in order to make that future visible to each other and to the people who read us. And one of the consequences of that is it makes it really easy to tell what's missing. And then we go build that. And that becomes all the apps that we make. Quora, which is an email agent, or Monologue, which is a speech-to-text app. These are all things that come from our own, our own needs. And then we teach what works. So we take all of that stuff and we teach it in camps and courses and we do big enterprise deals where we do trainings to teach people how to use AI. So that's like the quick background. I actually did that whole background for the team too, because after 10 days of vacation, who knows what, I barely remember what we do. This is such a cool time because 2025 was a huge breakout year for us. We hit 3 million in total revenue, which is 3x growth. We hit 2 million in ARR, which is again, 3x growth. So that's amazing. And it's just, I've been running this business for six years. So having a year like this, is just, oh, we finally hit it. I also feel like we really cemented our status where people think of us and the vibe checks that we do. Whenever a new model comes out or a new product comes out, they think, what is Every's take? Which is really important to me. And I think we've done a really good job of having these hands-on vibe checks on the day comes out that tells what you need to pay attention to and what you don't. And we also have four products in market. And that's crazy. For We're a team of about 20 people and we have four separate software products that we run. We also have our own custom CMS that runs our website. And we have a consulting business. And that's just like crazy shape for a business to have. So I'm super proud of that. And it sets us up for 2026 where I want to double down again. Our current plan is to 3x our revenue again. So that would take us to about 6 million in ARR and to 10 million in overall revenue, which I think is really doable. The growth from last year was purely organic. So I think we have a very good shot to do this or better. The next thing that we're going to do is double down on a unified platform and ecosystem. So right now, all the apps and the content, they all live in separate silos. And what we're doing in 2026 is we're going to build a unified platform layer where all the apps can talk to each other. And we build a centralized idea of who you are and what you care about that makes all the apps better and also makes the content that we write better for you. And then we're going to be fully agent native. This is something I'll talk about a little bit more deeply later on, but I think being agent native is a new kind of software development where apps that are agent native are basically cloud code in a trench. All the UI, all the buttons, it just kicks off an agent to do all the work instead of having code manually written that gets executed. And I really think we're in a moment for that right now. And we're moving all of our software to be fully agent native over the next couple months. Here's what I told the team about what it looks like if things are working. One is by the end of Q1, if our products can talk to each other. So we're going to have Cora talking to Spiral. When Cora wants to compose an email, it can talk to Spiral, which is our writing agent, and ask it to write something great or ask it for a writing style. When Monologue, which is our smart dictation app, when you're using it, it has a custom dictionary to know what to transcribe for hard to transcribe words. And it'll be able to talk to Cora to say, okay, what are the kinds of words that I should pre-fill in the custom dictionary? So we're going to have the ability for all of our products to talk to each other. By the end of Q2, we're going to have a central concept of who our users are and what they care about. So we're going to basically gather all the context from what you write, what you say to your computer, your emails, and your files, and build a view for you of who you are and what you care about that goes into all of our apps, goes into our content, and that you can take with you to ChatGPT or Claude to enhance the context that they have about you. By the end of Q3, what I want to do is use all of this to make our content more personalized and better. It's very important to me that we keep the human soul, the human storytelling as the core of every. And I think it's clear that it's weird for everyone to get the same newsletter every day. 
And if we really want to keep you on the edge of AI, we need to know what you care about and then tailor what we tell you about to what you care about. And the last thing is by the end of Q4, I think you'll be able to see the ecosystem not as an ecosystem of apps and content, but as an ecosystem of agents that all know about each other and all collaborate really well to help you get your work done. I think a couple other things that we really want to do, we really want to be the number one place where people go to learn to code, write, and design with AI. I think we're on our way there, but there's always more work to do. I really also think that the writing that we do right now, the audience is humans, but it needs to be both humans and agents. So a really good example is we write a lot about compound engineering, which is our engineering philosophy. We have a Claude Code plugin that teaches Claude Code about compound engineering. That's an example of writing for both humans and for agents. I also want to be in a place where by the end of the year, we're all pushing to each other's apps. And that's already happening. Everyone is committing code to everyone else's apps. But there's a lot that needs to be done. There's a lot of organizational stuff to make sure that everyone's repo is set up well to allow this kind of collaboration. There's also a lot of etiquette to be done about when you should submit a new feature or bug fix to an app and how to do it to take the pressure off or the work off of the app GM in order to allow them to merge it. So that's really interesting. And the next level of that, once we figure that out, is allowing customers to essentially write PRs that we can or really detailed bug reports or feature specs that we can then one shot with Claude. And I think that would be really cool. So that's where we're trying to go. I want to talk for a little bit about why this is even important. Why are we doing this? The world just changed recently. Right now, software agents are great. That's crazy. And the really interesting thing is a couple of companies, Anthropic is a big one of them, that made this bet that if you make a great software agent, it becomes a really good general agent. And I think that's true. And we're seeing that with Claude Code and the Claude Agent SDK. And this has gigantic consequences for software, for writing, for design, for company building, and for really how we see ourselves and our role in the future. And it is creating a tremendous amount of anxiety and FOMO and excitement and just f people feeling like I can't keep up and I don't want to be left behind and I don't know how this is going to change my job and all that kind of stuff. And there's so many good things, but there's a real need for people to actually figure out how do you live a more creative, more human future with this technology? I think that's probably not the people building the underlying models. I think that's asking an oven maker how to bake a souffle. It's people on the edge who are doing work that need to figure out how these tools fit into our lives. And I think that's why we're here. It's why we build this bundled subscription. If our goal is to help people learn to live and work with AI in a more flourishing, creative, better, more human way, that maps very cleanly onto the bundle that we're building. So you need to spread the word. So you need to tell stories about the future that we see, that we live in. You need to build tools that they'll use. And the tools that we sell are tools that we build for ourselves. And then we need to teach them hands-on. And those are all the components of the company that we're building. And I hope that we have an opportunity to be an archetypal AI native company. And what that means to me is we figure out for ourselves how to build and work and live in this new future. And then we become an example for other people to follow. And in doing that, they subscribe to read our ideas and they use the tool set that we build and all that kind of stuff. And my hope then is that creates the way that people build and write and think in this new future. And that's really exciting. And I think also very important to me. And I think we're in this moment that I want to talk about for one second. I've seen a lot of technology waves. When everyone was first started in 2020, it was right before the creator economy wave. And I was seeing our numbers just go up. And I was like, okay, there's something really special here that's happening. We're growing super fast. I had that tingle feeling. And that's one of the reasons why we really went all in on the company. In 2022, one day, I think it'd be a wave. It was just GPT-3. But I was like, this is the next big thing. And after ChatGPT, we just really focused the whole company around AI, and, and that has really paid off. And I am getting that same feeling right now. And that feeling is about what I call agent-native apps, which is basically apps that are cloud code in a trench coat. There's a lot more detail about what makes something agent-native and how traditional software fits into that. I think that cloud code in a trench coat metaphor should tell you most of what you need to know, and there's a ginormous number of implications for it. But... We're going all in on that in 2026, and that means the content that we write, the stuff that we build, all that stuff is going to be really focused around this. And yeah, that's it. That's our 2026 strategy. Thanks for watching.